Tonight, some people in Volusia County are watching Dorian and worrying. Their homes were flooded during Hurricane Irma two years ago. The homes were supposed to be raised up on stilts to prevent this from happening again, but that did not happen. News 6's Eric Sandoval is in Volusia County tonight, finding out why. Volusia County Emergency Services tells me that the state actually rejected their application to put these homes up on stilts. They said they needed more proof that they would flood again. So tonight, the people who live in that neighborhood say they're expecting the worst. Bruce Chiarizzi says he and his wife are dreading Hurricane Dorian. I'm panicking. I'm really panicking. We first met the couple last year. That's when they shared this video showing the floodwaters Hurricane Irma sent into their home in 2017. 14 and a half inches from the overflow in Tomoka River. Had no regard for all that. It just came up, came in. And we had no, uh, no chance. Volusia County Emergency Management stepped in to apply for federal money. They wanted to use it to elevate the Chiarizzi's home and some of their neighbors' homes on stilts, like this one across the street. Chiarizzi says he was hoping the solution would be here by now. But we found out inspectors at the state level kicked it back, asking the county to conduct more studies on the river, studies that will require the county to buy their own river gauges. Chiarizzi say they're left watching Dorian, hoping the floodwaters stay away. I trust and believe that they will do it. I just don't know when, and I don't know how long we can hold out here. Now, Chiarizzi says that he now has flood insurance to cover the contents of the inside of his home, so that's a good thing. Emergency Services tells me they are going to be resubmitting these applications in hopes of getting results for these neighbors. We're in Volusia County tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. New 6.